Welcome back to another exercise. Here we are going to start with front plane and at the center you will see this at the center there is a circular half circular body. This radius if I will show you 60 and inside 50. So, I will create start from this and if you see top view the width of this half circular body 80 millimeter. Now simply I will choose any one plane. So I am going to select front plane, sketch. Now activate circle tool, draw one circle, activate line tool, make it half, ok. Make sure it is. Now let me choose trim entity, activate power trim, just press left drag. Uh, Press left mouse and drag and it will trim. Say OK. Now activate the smart dimension and define this 60 millimeter. OK. Now center line click and convert it into construction geometry. Now activate extruded boss base feature. Now see this is open geometry, open profile. So that's why it took here thickness, thin feature activated. Now the direction is going one direction ok we want one direction but let us say inside because our outside radius now inside radius 50 so the difference between 50 and 60 is 10 millimeter so that is it and here we need to define 80 millimeter but keep end condition mid plane everything as it is say ok if you check evaluate measure and if I am going to select this inside edge and you will see radius 50, ok. Now here comes this circle, let us zoom 40 outer inside 20 millimeter distance 110 millimeter from here this is in line. If we see top view the width is 70 from mid plane. So again I am going to activate front plane sketch activate circle tool and uh, let us activate dimension 40 millimeter let us define the center distance 110 millimeter say yes now it is still green means it is not fully constrained hold shift key select these two center points and define constraint or relation horizontal look it is fully defined extrude. Now here you can activate thin feature. I will activate thin feature see reverse direction. We want only one direction so keep one direction and here the main thing is thickness. This is diameter. So thickness means this wall thickness if we add 10 millimeter it is going to be 20 diameter inside. Now here end condition keep mid plane and the width is 70 millimeter look say yes again go to evaluate measure and select inside edge and you will see here 20 diameter that is what we need ok now you will see here this 20 depth there is one hole 20 millimeter this is a kind of flange 50 width it is located at the center of this there is 16 diameter hole corner radius 10 and it is fixed with this outer circular face I will show you how go bottom sketch activate corner rectangle now define this gap or simply do one thing just drag this to up to here coincide mid plane keep both relation 50 and uh, this distance from center edge is 100 80 plus 20 it is 100. 
because there is circular edge if you start from this edge it will not perfectly match this so i'll tell you how extrude now keep end condition blind depth 20 but it's going reverse direction so simply click and change the direction okay no need to change anything else say yes now look there is a unnecessary body insides so right click on tab and edit check this box direct editing and here you will find face delete i'll choose face delete selection bar check delete and patch once the thing delete the parallel edge will be patched show preview so select this 1 2 3 Four. Don't select this inside edge because this is continuous face. Say okay. Look, it is perfectly deleted, and patch also. Go to sketch. Even if you simply click on edge, it will show you two options: fillet, chamfer, activate fillet. Keep here fillet type first, constant size, full preview, tangent propagation, and fillet. symmetric and the radius 10 mm and now i'm going to choose these two edges say yes if you want to add either make direct hole or you can make hole wizard activate here this hole metric drill size and this is 16 dm now here you have to define end condition let's say through all position click this face place somewhere escape key to out of this selection activate smart dimension not start dimension from this center point 20 mm okay now hold shift key and make relation select the origin point and center of this circle horizontal isometric view look now this is going to trim up to here because the last end of this face is going to be collinear say yes look now it's time to add this one 60 first we have to add one plane now look the things clearly this width 60 mm if you calculate 10 10 20 10 is 50 minus 60 it's this is going to be 10 mm this face from this age now this is 105 so if you subtract 10 it is 95 okay 95 and minus 80 so you will get the distance from this center point 95 minus 80 it's going to be 15 mm and this center distance from bottom is to this center of the circle 150 and what is the diameter of this 56 mm okay let's create this okay let me create plane right plane because this is the plane now here keep distance 15 but reverse side flip offset okay this is what we calculated sketch on plane now this diameter radius 50 so a uh, 28 into 2 and distance from origin this is going to be 150 is still drawing not fully defined so make relation hold shift key and select center point of circle and origin point make relation vertical okay now activate extruded boss base now keep end condition blind and width of the this solid body is 40 60 actually reverse direction say yes let me hide this now there is one more body here you will see up outer radius 15 inside there is a circle 15 diameter okay and distance here shown from center to center 40 mm width 35 mm okay you will see it is located at the exactly the center of this body 
then you will see here one cutout radius r 10 and 5 millimeter gap let's activate front plane sketch activate line tool let me draw one center line make sure let's say this is construction line now activate main line now go back to the point again it will automatically convert this uh, line into arc place again it continue and it will be a line activate circle now let's define the dimension now distance from here to here it's 40 millimeter outer radius 15 and diameter inside and distance from this edge is 60 divided by 2 it's 30 now this is going to be fully defined sketch see isometric view activate extruded boss base feature keep end condition mid plane so that it will move in both side now depth is 35 mm make sure you merge otherwise it will become a second body so always keep try to always keep merge result look okay this center circle we will create at the end now it's time to create this close body you will see 10 millimeter 20 10 10 25 50 and these edges are tangent to this and inside radius also 10 10 and this you will see the gap between this 10 and this width is like up to this diameter you will see here it is located at the tangent position front plane a sketch activate line tool and draw one okay that's fine now convert hold shift key set convert this outer edges okay activate line tool come here and go back to the point and see it is all automatically converted into arc so place this point now hold shift key and select these two arcs tangent activate dimension 50 now let's activate the outer one and again can go to this select this out arc and this arc tangent activate smart dimension and this is going to be 25 that's it now let's define few more thing this is going to be 10 millimeter and the similar one here also going to be 10 millimeter okay now we will use offset fillet 10 millimeter i'll choose let's say select chain i'll choose this line see this is going to be here say okay again activate i'm going to choose this one reverse direction but in this case i don't need select chain so i'll i need up to here only so uncheck the chain box and the last one this one convert sorry offset and i'll choose this edge see here 10 millimeter add dimension say yes now it's time to trim i'll activate power trim just press left mouse and drag see it's going to trim keep it don't trim this just find out okay this is we don't need even this is also we don't need this is also we don't need and inside these lines okay this is going to be perfect okay activate line tool and close this because this is close from here to here again activate line tool and close this geometry so that we will get a close profile 
okay still this is there is one more close profile so activate trim entity power trim drag left mouse press and drag and delete now this is fully closed geometry activate sketch fillet 10 mm and select these two edges say yes look this is what we need activate extruded ball this look it is automatically selected this close profile now this is going to be 28 into 2 it's 56 millimeter but keep end condition mid plane because it's going to move in both side rest as it is look now here let's make a hole keep hole drill size let's say 20 end condition up to next position select this face move cursor near edge and you will see center point place escape key to out of this selection say yes look the hole is created sketch activate line tool and let's connect from this center point to end point of this edge activate extruded cut now end condition select through all both okay see it is going to be cut through all both thin feature normal look this is going to be cut in one direction so here i am going to choose mid plane and distance center distance only 5 millimeter look the thickness going to be 5 millimeter and going to cut in both side and through all look that's it let me define some color here Okay. Metal, polished metal. This face, click double click polished metal, select the hole. Click double click polished metal, and this is going to be okay. So this is the our simple exercise in SOLIDWORKS. I hope you like it. Don't forget to share and like our video and please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Thanks for watching.